people are reporting. It's all over, it's all over the internet. People are reporting. And then someone in Tel Aviv, yeah, this one was in Tel Aviv, claims to be Jesus. It's all over the news. Da? So, and then someone rapes someone here, all over the news, yeah? And then the Lord sends someone, rebuke sin, rebuke sin, rebuke sin, rebuke sin here, da? And then you look at the, at the worldly newspapers here and there, mm -hmm. even the reign of the Holy Spirit comes down, it's not appearing. Now you're wondering, what happened? Why are these ones not seeing? Why are these ones not seeing that the Lord is preparing the church for the coming of the Messiah? Amen? But, so it is a privilege really to hear. It is a huge privilege. Because some are not given the privilege. And even to enter the kingdom of God is a privilege. May we strive to enter. Amen? Yes. Holy Spirit, help us to enter. We don't want to be the church that misses to enter. Holy Spirit, we, we ask you to help us, to, to purify us. Holy Spirit, help us. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on the coming of the Messiah. To keep our eyes fixed on that day. Lord, help us. You know, there's a, there's a message that came out last night. And the message was very clear in, in the book of Joel chapter 1. He says, call a fast. I mean, this is the time for us to fast like never before. Look, they have been waiting for the coming of the Messiah. And they didn't see the coming of the Messiah in their days. But now we are that generation. If, if, if we lived 1,000 years ago and someone asked you, what would you do if you knew that you were the generation that prepares for the coming of the Messiah? How would you answer that question? But now, you are that generation. You don't have to ask what would you do if you were going to be that generation. But now you are this generation. It's the time to seek the Lord. It's really time to separate from all worldliness and sin, sorry, and everything that, because our eternity, because it says it is, the coming of the Messiah is in hand. That means it is here now. It is here. All the signs are around us. The, the, the wars and the rumors of wars are here. Syria is, 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 is devastated, you know. Russia is here and trying to flex their muscles and the Chinese are flexing their muscles and the North Korea is flexing their muscles and South Korea is in shambles now and terrorists here and there and earthquakes here and volcanoes there and storms here and there diseases now. The flu is here, Ebola there, and everything Jesus prophesied is here, he says. And when you see these things, look up. That means this is the time now for us to look up. This is the time now for us to really repent and turn away from all forms of sin. This is a time for us to really, if there's a time we needed to be serious with our salvation, it is now. Ah, I don't really know how to put it, you know, because if you know that you know, some famous person is coming to your room. You know, you put everything in place immediately, isn't it? Yeah. You put everything in place. I mean, even in, in Namibia, when you know that someone very important is coming to visit, you put everything in place. <laughs> the way you wash your, 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 your clothes, eh? I mean, not, not, not even if they say you're going to the state house, for instance. The way you iron your clothes, eh? You make sure they are well ironed. Mm -hmm. If yesterday you wore the shirt and it was wrinkled, and you decide to wash it for tomorrow, say, hey, this one, even if I wore it wrinkled yesterday, today I have to iron it. Mm -hmm. Because the Messiah said, without wrinkle, without one spot, mm -hmm. without stain. That I'm, so this is a time for us to iron our garment. This is a time to clean up. If there are some habits, you know, some habits, <laughs> some habits you become born again but then somehow you always yeah, you always are like this with your, with your classmates and then someone was listening to some songs and then you're like ah, man, I, I think I should just have a, a little you know, I should listen just a little bit <laughs> yeah? some song you used to love so much 
and then your unsaved classmate begins to sing it and you say I think I just want just 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 a little bit yeah? and then uh, one little bit leads to one whole week of listening and then the Holy Spirit convicts you and you say ah, but I should really put away these things and then you repent then after two weeks the same thing happens say if you are having such kind of habits say now it's the time to make sure that such useless habits stop <laughs> amen. amen if you used to be one who eh, you are born again the Lord just saved you from pornography and everything else and then and then you are you are safe in your internet very nice you know no 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 nothing to worry about and then one day the devil just brings in a evil video and then you say wait a minute these people are really evil you know let me see how evil are they today <laughs> <laughs> you can already see from the picture that is evil, but you are wondering what kind of evil is there. You know, I just want to see. You know, because you know, I've, I haven't been watching these things, but I wonder what they are up to these days. <laughs> and then you watch it, then you feel convicted. And say, I shouldn't have watched that video. And then you keep doing that after every month. They say now is the time to stop such habits. They call them besetting sin. If you're the kind of person who says, if you used to lie just here a little bit there, and say, ah, you know, but you see, teacher, eh, you, you, you are cheating. <laughs> or you're with your classmate, you're writing the test. Your classmate is having the phone like this. Eh? And then he's showing you. Eh? He's showing you. They're like, you know, this exam is really tough. You know, he's, he sneaked in with the phone. He's showing you. <laughs> and you say, okay, just, just a little bit. I'll, I'll just look at the first answer. And then maybe it will remind you of all the answers. You say, no, such things must stop now. Yesterday we were writing an exam. This guy was holding your phone. Da? And then when I saw the phone, I took my paper, my paper was folded like this. I opened it and then I began to write, Professor, this guy seated this side is copying. He's having a phone. Now he was copying and he was signaling this guy in front of me. So I moved to sit and I went to sit there, finished writing my paper and I tore it and I gave it to the professor. He said, okay, I'll deal with them. So this is a time now to expose sin. Amen? Because to expose sin means to stand against the world. May the Lord really help us. Amen? Amen. Amen. There are many people who are not preparing, but we have now this chance to prepare. We don't want to be found unaware. And when it takes place, we want to be there. I want to be there. Mm -hmm. I had a dream I was in, you know, I, had it, I told you the dream. It's so beautiful to be caught up. I don't want to be left behind. I don't want you to be left. I pray the Lord, all of us here, Lord, that we will enter. That we will enter. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Lord, for this message. In Jesus' name, Amen. Mm -hmm.